Welcome Libra to your end of November love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So if you are new, how we do things here is we're gonna use the A of Tarot deck to pull some energies, do some tarot with the Soul Cards Tarot, and we are going to pull the Lovers of Oracles. I am going to clarify using the Homebound Tarot, and, and then we're gonna use the Hidden Truths um, for your person, which I feel gets more in depth than your person's true feelings. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading and see what is coming in for you guys for the end of November. We have the Four of Wands energy. We have the Two of Rings. Seven of Rings. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Dawn of Swords and the Seven of Cups and the lovers in reverse. Big message there for Libra. Okay, now keep in mind this reading may not resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. We have the Knight of Cups, the lovers, the death card. Okay, now the death is in the challenge position. We do have the Five of Wands, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, again, and the Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit, the Tower, and the Hangman, and the Six of Wands. Okay, there's a lot going on here with all <laughs> with all of these um, major arcanas. All right, Libra, there is definitely some either cheating, lying, or manipulation here. We do have this King of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with the Seven of Swords, which can have led to a lot of confusion and setbacks um, with this Three of Swords energy. But there is some clarity or breakthrough when it comes to this lovers, but it's in reverse. So there is something here that was your wish fulfillment, but led to now making a choice. It does look like there's some honest communication coming in, but also a brand new opportunity on the table. Now it looks like someone could be spying on you or feeling here very confused, um, clouded judgment. Um, and we do have the four of wands. So more of this is about your stability within your home, your family, your finances. But we also have confusion. Lots of confusion here, especially with the seven of rings. Now, I feel like there could be juggling here, maybe with emotions or with something to where it's hard to end because the death card is in the challenge. So something has not fully ended as you could be making a choice here between love. Either do you want to leave something behind or more go and work on things with an individual. So we do have on what you don't see coming is the two of pentacles once again, which is stating that there is some juggling here. That could be emotions, that could be with really anything, feeling like um, an imbalance. So the outcome shows the five of swords, but right here we do have the hermit. So the hermit is more of which rolling, taking a step back and really looking at the whole situation, like the bigger picture. So, and going within for the answers. So I do feel like there is somebody here that you have emotions for, or someone has emotions for you, but what's coming in is this major arcana, which is love. Now, this could be a separation. This could be a choice of two people. This could be going into a higher level of commitment, but I feel like there could be some challenges or competition with the five of wands energy, which can show some arguments or disagreements are not seeing eye to eye. You are coming up as the empress in this reading. So the goddess of the deck, which is loving and nurturing, right? and trying to do the right thing for you. I feel like you are doing what's best for you at this time. And um, with the Nine of Pentacles, it could be a very long process here or feeling like something it's a bit unsteady as if something may be going down the wrong 
direction. But again, with that hermit card, it's more of just going within because it's stating that you're you needing to be true to yourself, which I feel that you're doing, which will bring that clarity you need. The five of swords is conflict, mental conflict. It also could be manipulation too. And I feel like it's more coming from this dawn of swords that can be the one that I feel like this is more of spying or dishonesty or something here that is creating some mental conflict, some some messages or communication in a way. We are going to clarify because we have a lot of major arcanas. We have a tower moment. So with this tower moment, it brings a lot of chaos, disruption, betrayal, lies, deceit. I mean, something that needed to crash down and to rebuild again. But usually with this tower, it causes endings. So I do feel like you're in the middle of surrendering something here, but it's still feeling a bit stagnant and more at a pause as we have the six of wands wanting victory, but still not sure. Okay. Because the death is still need, um, a need to let go of something or having a hard time letting go. Now let's go ahead and grab some cards to clarify. So we are going to clarify a couple cards so let's see we have this king of swords energy which is either your energy which is another air sign gemini libra aquarius um but there's something about the king of swords the king of swords is more about being intelligent thinking more logical about the situation on long-term goals and success here so i feel like that's why you're being very true and honest and direct and not really be bsing anybody you're just wanting what's best for you and you're being very logical about it so that could be your energy coming in and then we do have the knight of cups once again wanting to give you their emotions but um, i feel like this is someone who's trying to come into your life but again we have a choice that is really hard to make with this two of pentacles once again one two three indecision okay there's something here like juggling like it, it's hard to start and end something or end and start it, it's it's something here that is causing a lot of mental conflict um oh whoa 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 okay all right so we have the hierophant here with the emperor and the empress so this could be a husband and wife here and you have the ace of wands with the hierophant so this could be a marriage or a commitment because the hierophant's about marriage commitment um traditions uh values however and the emperor could be more of your husband your fiance or just a really strong relationship here so i do feel like there's something that has to do with this emperor energy and trying to do the right thing but with the hair fan it's more of trying to do the right thing for you okay like and it feels like you're you're moving towards making a decision but something here still lingers let's get another um card for this empress the king of wands now we have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with the three of wands energy, making a choice here. Four of wands, taking a break. You could be removing your energy here from something or someone or with, with the situation to think more clearly but it, this decision is very hard. It's not like you're really stuck. Look at the two of wands at a crossroads. It's okay, the eight of swords is, is, is stating that you're not really stuck because you do have the hierophant. I mean, not the hierophant, what is this? The hermit. And the hermit is very, very wise. So it's just more of making a decision or, or coming to some type of compromising with somebody or, or something here to where this eight of swords can be really, causing a lot of anxiety simply sleepless nights like just a, a lot in the mind here okay and it all has to do about a choice let's go ahead and get the five of swords energy what is this five of swords and it's the five of pentacles you could be leaving out somebody hanging as we have the hangman and leaving them out in the cold here but again it feels like a pause 
but spirit is saying that there is death on the table but it's a challenge and there is a choice here we do have the emperor and the empress and the hierophant so that could be some type of marriage or commitment but again you know what to do but someone here is feeling left out in the cold and um it could be causing a lot of stress here on libra so let's see let's see the hidden truth messages from your person or see what's coming in i admire you I still have feelings for you. I feel like that's that Knight of Cups, that Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I need some need security. I feel the sexual tension and I see life differently now and I have trouble with intimacy. Okay, so there could be some temptation here within chemistry or something with the sexual tension and then I see life differently now. Yeah, so someone definitely has feelings for you here. I think it's just more of a choice on what path is more stable for you or just really needing to make some type of decision. And I feel like that's what's going to set you free in a way. Let's see. Let's grab the lovers of oracles. Sorry for that noise. Let's see what spirit has to say with here. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities for your life. Okay, let's grab another one. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And it says romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Hmm. And then we have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives and wait. Don't rush it into it. Allow nature to take its course. So yeah, so this is just saying like, when you're ready, when the time is right, everything is going to come to you. The clarity, everything, just distrust in your intuition. Trust the guidance. If you are getting any synchronicities, um, go ahead and make sure to look those up as in numbers. And those are all from your spirit guides to help you through this, especially when you're in a decision. Um, but I feel like there is some conflict here when it has to, you know, feeling overwhelmed in some way or when it has to do um, with the choice or, or something here because there's a lot of... Um, it's like letting like letting go is the hard part here, okay? And making that choice for what's best for you. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right here for you, Libras. I am going to be posting the December readings. So please hit that notification bell to receive more future readings from me. I do nothing but love readings here. Um, if you do like this message or if it helped or resonated in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in December. God bless.